Well, couldn't even find any fucking cheat code for the game. You know what I like about cheat codes? You know, like back in the day when we had like, you know, you could get invisibility and such by pressing a few buttons and such. You know what I liked about it? But at the end of the day, everyone could complete the game. Like, if you just were that bad at the game, or just frustrated that much, with a press of a few buttons, you were gone and could coast on right through. Now, some think this is not real gaming, but I feel like that's kinda elitist. Because I don't believe that nobody deserves to see a certain game. This, oh, for example, I'm completely okay with the idea, for example, of an easy mode in Dark Souls. Or here, when I'm less playing, would feel really bad about, you know, leaving it all up in the hair of all places. Here's rather anticlimactic. That being said, the game is now officially trying my patience. Oh hey, on top of everything else I bitched and moaned about, how about we also include giant <coughs> near invincible fucking juggernauts? But basically break the premise of the game in half. The premise was enemies echo what you do. That was the premise. The core foundation of which you built everything on. some lame ass end game enemy that break all the established rules and pretty much fucks me straight up the ass with so much power that it's coming out my mouth the moment they see me yes that that seems like what the gameplay needed that seemed like exactly what we needed right that was just what we needed a little extra spice you know to complete this fucking shit sandwich! And I am suspecting, hoping to... Praying to a vague non-denominational cluster of spirit that I don't have to do collect the blue balls with those things running around, but knowing how this is turning out, that might actually be the case. And I'm warning up front, there is a significant risk that if I have to go through more of this, I will jump up and fucking quit. I'll try to be patient out of respect for those following the let's play. I feel like just stopping would be disrespectful to them. And I'll try to stress things out. But this level, this level's been fucking trying my patience something fierce. Oh god, I see the blue balls in the distance. This should be the last challenge in the game, but fuck it if it's a challenge I need in my life. I really tried. I'm gonna do my best and the better as fuck BO ending behind all of this worth all this shit. Though I'm standing in my doubts, I really like the story, but then the star decided, hey, how about we make one of the main protagonists unlikable? Just make her unlikable. Completely unlikable. Oh yeah, that's great. Maybe it's because I then will get some sort of satisfaction of seeing her head getting smashed against the floor a million times. But it's like, well, I'm a resourceful. I've always win. Oh, hi, giant golden god. <laughs> yeah, your days are going so well. You sure are showing those titans. How clever you are. I'm sure that their cleverness is going to be all great. Even one of those mutated freaks is going to go <laughs> on your ass. Fantastic. Oh my god, I'm getting a headache just looking at it. Please, 
tell me. Please, game, let those golden fox just be a one-time challenge. Like back there. Let that just be an impulse, like the actual good piece of gameplay last chapter. Don't have them up here. I swear to the everything. Don't do that to me. Fuck you. I can see them walking around. I saw them. I don't need that. Yes, well, fuck you, game. Fuck you. Of a salami! No! Fuck! No! 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 I'm not doing this! Holy shit! You want me to run around this giant fucking area and collect these fucking stupid blue balls for the fifth fucking time, not only evading all the clones as per once again, but also avoiding those giant death machines that have infinite stamina and can kill me in one hit and takes three shots from my uber pistol to kill. If you think I'm doing that, you must be on fucking myth! Be right back. But this is it, people. I'm not gonna go find the ending online on YouTube. We're not going to see the ending in this game, because fuck it if I'm going to go through this mess. I'm done! My patience has slipped up! I will not subject myself to this fucking game anymore! This is asinine! And I refuse to participate. I can only per uh, be, I can only be happy that I never spend as much as a single solitary coin on this and grieve the fact that Flodos spent money on this for me. If you like this, I will never understand why. But I respect your right to like this game. I will never understand why. I've seen in the comments people saying they liked it and arguing why they liked it. And you know what? That's fine. But I will never get it. I will never fucking understand. But you have the right to like it. But I also have the right to call this a shitty piece of crap. Now I'm gonna go find out what the ending is. And then I'm gonna say, uh, talk about what the ending is. And whether or not it would be worth going through this mess. And then I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on the game. BRB. Ending, but you get right after you do this room. And by God, just watching someone trying to do this room gave me almost a fucking headache. But then you know what happens? Then you go into Foster's memories, find some sort of vague image of Foster, and then get this: the main character kills herself to bring Foster back. And then he just wakes up in the space in the old where we found the thing chip back in the start, and that's it. That's the ending you get. Isn't that great? Us spending so much time and effort all to bring back a character we never met and don't give a shit about. Isn't that just a fantastically shitty ending? Amazing! I can definitely see why I should put effort into this. Wow, that's the ending you're gonna give me. You're gonna give me a fun sub story about how hard her life is, then you turn around and make her a complete bitch just so I won't cry when she dies, for a shitty two, five, maybe eight second long scene of some random guy that I only ever heard about waking up on a platform. Great! Fantastic! Awesome! Great! You know, the story was one of the few things, one of the only thing, you know, but no, let's be fair, a few things that I like about this game. But you ruined that too! Amazing! Great. So here's what we have. We have a clumsy game that doesn't know what it wants. The stealth mechanics are bought as hell with enemies spotting you through objects and your character being clunky and being capable of fully retreating from any mess up you make or anything like that. So in that degree, it fails. With enemy positions almost at random through cluttered levels that have absolutely no design to remind anything. 
On the action side, you have a one-shot pistol, unless you're lucky enough to have extra energy, which will not regenerate because your shoe can only regenerate one energy. You say have to find pellets, and that can give you up to like, right now I can get five shots. Great. That might be enough to get you out of trouble. Of course, it's also loud as hell, so that'll track things. So, you know, as an action game, it also fails. And as a puzzle game, I only seen one puzzle which was basic, but could have been the start of a series of great puzzles, except of course it didn't. So, in that sense, it fails too. It fails in every regard, in every single category. It doesn't work in any way. The game doesn't know what it wants to be. It constantly punishes you, either with time or with enemy upgrades, and for everything you do. Nothing you do is rewarded. Everything is punished. The closer you think you get to reward, a lot of these fucking cells, which don't fucking regenerate. Your every action is punished, and at the end of the game, your main character kills herself. Awesome! That's great! Really feels worth it! Awesome! You know, I can see why I had to toss it with the fucking golden giants here for all of that! Fuck this game! Ugh. This has been Eric Cobra, and this has been Let's Play Echo Blind. I hope to God that if any one of you play it, you find some enjoyment in it. I don't know why you would. I can't see why anyone would. But apparently some people are. This game is getting a war, for fuck's sake. And I don't get it. It's certainly artsy, I guess. But devoid of substance. Not a good story until I had to do a shit ending. Which I don't even get, because of the entirety of the human form can be compressed into that cube through some translation process. Why can't it be untranslated as well without the sacrifices of life? And nothing is ever explained. What is the point of this place? Even fucking Dark Souls had a more coherent and easily explained story than this. God! Ugh. This has been Eric Cobra. This has been Let's Play Eco Blind. See you all around. Bye!